Today, we're looking for a creature that's just like me. They've got a red belly, they love going for a swim, and they like eating fish. <laughs> Do you know what it is? Let's go find out. It's a red belly black snake, one of the great snakes. Now, we're on the farm where I live, down at one of the dams. The dams are a great spot for snakes. There's grass, there's reeds, there's water, there's frogs. All the things that red belly black snakes love. So hopefully, we go for a bit of a search, we'll be able to find one of these amazing snakes. Come on. It's autumn but we're still enjoying clear, hot days. So we should be able to find a little black snake out basking. These snakes are primarily diurnal. That means they're out during the day. Generally, black snakes are probably one of the easiest snakes to find. They love hanging around swamps, streams, lagoons, drainage canals, even farm dams like here. If you're going to find a red belly black snake, it's probably a good idea to start with looking for frogs. I can hear some frogs calling right now. We're in the right spot. There should be some red belly black snakes around here somewhere. While I've been out searching, I've been checking under every bit of cover I can find. And that could be bark or rocks, under logs, looking around things. One of the pieces of cover we have quite a lot of here is this, a cow poo. There's a lot of old dried cow poos that the dung beetles haven't got to, and these are excellent cover. So if you're out looking for creatures, flip the odd cow poo. You never know what you're going to find. Red Billy, Red Billy, where are you? This is exhausting. I think I'm just going to take a leaf out of the red bellies book and lie down in the sun for a bit. <sighs> Back into it. under there a little baby red belly black snake I cannot believe it oh they are the cutest little creature I cannot wait to show you this one up close oh look at him his little red belly this snake would only be maybe a month old at the absolute most it's only recently been born you'll see the tongue is going out for a long period of time. It serves two purposes. He's really trying to figure out what's going on and who we are by smelling the air. That's what the tongue does. But also by doing that extended tongue flick, he's really letting us know he's there. It's his way of trying to draw attention to the fact that he's there, he's a black snake, and he's not to be messed with. But he's also super cute. Ah! <laughs> oh. All right, he's about to take off. I'm gonna pop him in the bag. Whoop. There we go. <laughs> We're gonna take him back to the lab. We'll put him in a little fish tank and we can have a much, much better look at him. And then we'll take him back down here, let him go this evening when it's nice and dark. All right, we're back in the lab. How exciting. And with us, we have a little tiny red-bellied black snake, Sudicus porphyriacus. They are one of the most strikingly coloured snakes we have on the East Coast. And I'll just take the cover off and we can immediately see his beautiful black dorsal surface. Now, they're black for a lot of reasons. If they're moving through sticks, they'll appear like a shadow and a predator won't be able to see them. 
and if they're out in the sun, they'll warm up very, very quickly. And the thing that gives them their name is this slightly red belly. And you can see that he does have a red tinge to his belly. Look at that. In some snakes, it is a very, very clear, bright red. And in other snakes, it's a little bit more dull. Grab this little snake so we can properly see all his features. And the first thing you notice, underneath their ventral scales, these are ventral scales here, their belly scales, they are a beautiful rosy red. And you can see these scales are quite dull in this snake. Occasionally, they'll be even duller than this and you won't, you won't be able to tell, but they're normally a bright, bright ready orange. When he sheds his skin, he'll be a lot brighter. Look how cute he is. They've got those great big eyes. Earlier, I said that these snakes have a lot in common with me. One other thing they have in common is that we both have belly buttons. That's right, they don't hatch out of an egg. These guys are born alive and wriggling. This little baby, it is tiny. This is about as big as they are when they're born. But as it grows, it can get as long as 2.5 meters. That's the biggest recorded specimen. I've never seen one that big, but at two meters, these are very impressively large snakes. A little snake like this will eat small lizards and frogs, but as they grow bigger, their diet increases. They'll eat birds, they'll eat mammals, they'll eat fish, they'll eat eels, they'll even eat other snakes. And if they find another small red-bellied black snake, they'll eat him too. They will eat anything. That's probably how they get so big. These snakes are equally at home in the water as they are on land. They're very good hunters of fish and eels. They're able to stay submerged for up to 20 minutes. Incredible. When these snakes start growing, they'll be ready to have babies within two or three years. And then when they do have babies, they can have as many as 20 young. So this little guy might have had 19 brothers and sisters. <laughs> Imagine that. These snakes are dangerously venomous. I would not like to get bitten by one. It would be horrible. But while they are one of the more venomous snakes in Australia, there has still been no recorded deaths from this snake. Just remember, snakes are very shy. So they don't want to see you, and some people, they don't want to see the snakes. Just have to remember how lucky we are that we get a chance to get a really good close look at such a remarkable little creature. I love these little snakes, and I hope I keep seeing them when I'm out in the bush for years to come. Until next time, stay wild. I'm out in the bush searching for stuff, and I need you to search out the like and subscribe button for Henry's Wildlife. Stay wild.